بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أيها الأحباب the Prophet عليه أفضل الصلاة والسلام said a mu'min lil mu'min kil bunyan yushidhu ba'dhu ba'dha the Prophet صلى الله عليه وربي وسلم عليه said the believer is the brother to the believer and they strengthen one another and the Prophet Sallallahu also made the likeness or the similitude between the believer and a building and a structure or the believer and a body meaning the relationship to the believers is that they are one regardless of color regardless of nationality regardless of other things that might distinguish us outside of the realm of Islam that we unite upon, that those relationships are really insignificant in comparison to the relationship that the believer that believes in Allah and believes in the angels, that believes and has believes in the pillars of Iman, the Arkan al Iman, practices Arkan al Islam, that this relationship between believers, which is established upon that. So there is a big difference. And the brotherhood that Islam calls us to is very clear as it's mentioned in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But however, we fall short in our practice that we often divide, divide into Hizb Ahzab, into groups and sects based upon a madhab, based upon an imam, based upon a group of scholars, based upon uh, even nationality and le uh, linguistic, um, even uh, according to our various language, languages and our tribes and we allow those barriers to consume us so for example sometimes you'll find individuals who are of the same methodology in general but yet the hatred that's between them simply because some individuals blind follow their sheikh or their sheikhs or their sheikhs fatwa was this and the other group doesn't agree with that fatwa even even though their madhab is the same, but yet the hatred between them is immense. And that shows you the nature of Bani Adam, of the children, the sons of Adam, that we're a people of to toil and struggle and conflict. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us, as is mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah, he asked the angels, uh, or the angels, they asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about this new creation, Adam, you know, the human, mankind, asking about these individuals that would come into the to the world and shed blood and spread wickedness that they they would come and be a people of they would be a uh, uh, fitna and 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 spread blood uh, spread uh, shed blood and spread fitna And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded by saying, I know that which you do not know. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine hikmah for creating us and creating our differences and creating us in such a way that we possess these various characteristics, even though some of our characteristics are negative and having an inclination to evil, but this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine wisdom. So, it's imperative for us with all of our differences 
to come back to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam if we want success in this life as well as the hereafter. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala Nabiya Muhammad.